Imagine this. You are on the perfect date. You even feel like, even though it's a first date, you're kind of like, hmm, could this be something bigger? Is this the one? What's happening? Um, and it's super exciting. And then you go home and you're like all lit up and you wait. And you wait and you wait and you wait. And guess what happens? Nothing. And you're thinking to yourself, is this what people mean by ghosting? And then you notice that it's not just happening in your romantic relationships, that it's also happening in with clients or with work opportunities. What's going on? Today I'm talking about ghosting and I'm talking about timelines. I've been watching these trends. People are really opening up to these conversations on YouTube and I think they're brilliant conversations to have. So if you are curious about shifting your timeline and also about why ghosting is happening to you and how the heck can you change it, stay tuned. This is Rebecca Abraxas. Today we're diving deep to rise high. We're gonna change our vibration by shifting our timeline and learning a little bit about ourselves and why anyone would wanna ghost us. All right, so today we're learning about ghosting, shifting timelines, and then at the end, I'm gonna give you a tool that's really a, a, a remarkable way to learn about yourself and to really bring up awareness about how you can really start to shift this old programming that may be uh, sabotaging your life a little bit. So first off, uh, ghosting. Ghosting feels awful, doesn't it? Have you had a ghosting experience? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. We'd love to support you. And let's change that right now. So ghosting has to do with a uh, just not being seen or heard, uh, people changing their mind. Um, even sometimes it's almost a prank. But what is it vibrationally? This is where I get very interested in things. And this is where shifting timelines is coming in. Everything is a vibration. So when you are experiencing a ghosting situation, it's a really good question to ask. Where am I not listening and hearing myself? So how many times in a ghosting situation have we given our power over to a relationship, to a situation, to needing something to change out here in our lives? See, ghosting is actually just a matched vibration of what's happening in, in, happening in the microcosm. I know that's so hard to hear. It's so hard, but... It's true. <laughs> What's happening in the microcosm will be reflecting out here in the macrocosm. So where are you ghosting yourself? And particularly with your intuition. Okay, how many times have you heard yourself inside, your inner voice kind of let you know about a situation? Uh, for example, uh, be, way before I met my my husband now, we've been married uh, 17 years together, 18. But before that, I was in a situation, I was in a, a re relationship and he was a wonderful person. He was amazing. It's probably the reason I would not listen to my intuition. I kept going, he's amazing. Leave me alone. <laughs> but something inside of me just knew you know, it was just kind of like eating at me. It was just kind of like, hey, this isn't the one. It just kept feeling heavy and I didn't want it to be true. I was just about, I think I was 31 years old. I really was getting, my hormones were uh, skipping up and they were really, I wanted to have a, a child. I wanted to start a family and this guy seemed amazing. And so I didn't want to listen. And you know, it. I didn't listen. And what happened was, is I, it's kind of a ghosting situation in a way. I, um, I sold all my things. I got my house rented 
and I was about to move to the East Coast, to Martha's Vineyard, and say goodbye to Colorado and, you know, go East on my own. Four days before I was about to shift my whole life and just jump in fully to this relationship, uh, he calls up and says, eh, this isn't going to work. I'm breaking up. There really was no reason why, except for this doesn't feel right. Now, this, this was crazy. It blew my mind. Tears started coming. Here I was, no furniture. Um, thankfully, I was able to get my house back. Um, <laughs> but I sold my stereo, my, like, my bed, my, like, everything. And uh, so it was really, really uncomfortable. Uh, me and my dog had to find new roommates. We had to find a new bed. We had to find, you know, like all of that. And it was all because I wasn't willing to take a look and listen to what my intuition was telling me. And what is our intuition? Our intuition is that part of us that is our deeper soul. It's our spirit body. It's our authentic self. It's our beingness. And it really has something important to say to us. Our authentic self has a certain frequency and we can tell if things are on our soul path or they're not. That by just the feeling our intuition is giving us, is it light or is it kind of dense and heavy? If it's dense and heavy, most likely it's not going to be a uh, you know, the greatest soul journey for you. It doesn't mean that when we choose for lightness that it's go everything's going to work out and everything's going to be, you know, peaches and cream. So you may have gone on this, this date or this business interview and it felt super light and then you were ghosted. Perhaps this is a message from your soul that's saying, take a look. Perhaps this was the, the situation you needed to really go within and take a look at what's going on in there. So my perspective is that ghosting is all about first, where have we ghosted ourselves? All right. And if you're like, I really want this to stop. I really want to tune in and listen and, and see my internal environment, my microcosm, and I want to learn, I want to grow, and I really want to stop these ghosting experiences. This is where uh, shifting your timeline is going to come in. Now, this term shifting timelines has everything to do with vibration. Basically, it's a shift in vibration, and it's a choice you make. That's how you shift a timeline. And so there are so many timelines happening and there's all these different timelines that you get to choose. Uh, what if you went down this timeline with this job and this person? What if you went down this timeline and you know woke, woke up at this time of day? What if you woke up um, at a different time of day and your whole timeline changed for the whole day? So timelines are all about choices and vibration. And it's so cool because you have all the choice that you require to change anything in your life right here, right now. And so that means that you can choose a timeline where you're not ghosted anymore, that you are really seen and heard and you are adored and admired, respected. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. So how do we make the shift? Well, it's really important to tune into that microcosm. It's really important to tune into your soul voice, right? That essence of you, that authentic self. So start taking time for that and listening. And what I love to do is do some, uh, some automatic writing. So I'll meditate for 10, 15 minutes, and then I'll write down, uh, you know, what's my message from my inner self. And then I just kind of am silent for a little bit. Sometimes I place my hands on my heart and I start writing. And it's amazing the message that comes out. It's an automatic message from your soul or your authentic self.
it's it's a beautiful practice but that is not the practice that i was going to tell you about so stay tuned um so shifting your timeline has to do with raising your vibration or shifting your vibration now if you want a different brilliant possibility you're going to have to uh, raise your vibration and get into the possibility of different timelines and so we are going from 3d to 5d reality 5d reality is where the magic happens but we've got to get out of our thinking mind and our logical mind because our logical mind says what is this there's one reality this is the time you have this and that and you you know you're born you die like and everything in between is just one line and that's logical that's logical 3d reality and when you hop into 5d reality which requires a vibrational uh, shift um, this is where all these possibilities come from now the cool part about ghosting is that it's reflecting to you where you really need to take a look and where you need to take a look so that your vibration can shift and when we take an, a look at ourselves and really give ourselves attention we really give ourselves time you know so if you're willing to spend time with a partner out here make sure you're willing to spend time with your partner in here. Now, I promise you that if you are willing to spend time here and really get to know yourself and really get to enjoy your own company, ghosting will stop happening and your vibration will lift. Okay, so meditating 10 minutes a day, doing that writing, getting into nature. Nature now is 5D. The earth has raised her vibration and wants to bring the humans along with it, or she really doesn't like the the, the vibration of 3D anymore. So she, we're really trying to uh, all get to 5D. And that's what's happening with this, this term, the great awakening. There's a quickening happening in the frequency of the planet because the planet has already raised her vibration. And so go spend time in nature and start to feel your whole vibration rise okay and then how do you keep it there right how do you keep it there well it's kind of like a comparison thing you can kind of look at the contrast see how you feel out in nature when your vibration is raised and everything feels just light and airy right then anything that doesn't match that start to ask a question about what is this? Whose is this? You know, what story is causing this feeling? Um, you know, where and how old was I when this intense feeling started? Um, am I done with it? You know, these series of questions really help us to decide uh, where we want to be living from and what's outdated and what we can really let go of. All right, now I promised you that I was gonna give you a really cool tool to use to start to shift your vibration, shift your timelines, and um, really let go of some old programming. Now this is a really simple tool, but it is invaluable. So basically it's called One Breath, One Voice. I learned it from Chloe Goodchild uh, from the program called Naked Voice. Basically what you do is you take a breath and on that breath, on the exhale, you just let out your voice and listen deeply. Not only listen to the sound, but be aware of the frequency that's in your voice. And that will give you a lot of awareness of what's there. And you may also have uh, pictures or just awareness of what what you want to be shifting or letting go of. I know it's like kind of crazy, but I'll give a little example. Um, you take a breath and you just sing anything that comes out of your mouth. It could be a groan. It could be a tone. It could be um, just om. Whatever it is, you just allow it through. Let it flow. And the other piece is be willing to receive your own voice. So it's just like this. Taking a breath. 
You sit with it. Do it again if you want to. And again, have a journal, start writing. And what's there for you? What did that mirror back? Now, it's not to get into a judging session of how your voice sounded, but there is awareness that comes up. Like I, I was listening in on my own voice here and I was like, something's a little wobbly there. Um, I feel a little tension and heaviness in there, which honestly feels right on with my day. I feel a little stressed for time and there's a lot going on with my, my kids. So yeah, that's, you know, it just brings up a lot of awareness and choice. Now you have that awareness what do you want to choose? So for me, I might say, huh, I think I really want to get into nature. I think I really want to release this heaviness. Or for me, I go into some light language singing. So from there, once awareness hits, then you have possibilities of how you want to raise your vibration. Okay, so first, choose to be aware. Then do the practice. And then from there, you're going to have lots of possibilities to choose again and create more awareness. So if you are being ghosted, my beautiful, beautiful friend, tune in here. Where are you ghosting yourself? Where is that just an old habit? You may have to dig a little deep because you may be working on yourself for a while now and you're like, I don't get it might be very deep in the subconscious and to really get in there spend more time with yourself give yourself more attention and from there you may notice that all the logic goes out the window and that you can start to choose different timelines because you're willing to be a different vibration so what timeline do you want to choose which feels the lightest and then when you have choices that come your way, let them match the highest frequency that you have found with yourself. Don't go on the next date with someone just cause. Really feel into, are they a vibrational match with the timeline that I'm really going down now? And if it's a no, I'm not interested. Thank you so much, but you know, I'm busy. And only go on the dates that light you up, that light your soul up. Same thing with work experiences or clients. Only take the clients that light your soul up. And that's choosing the timeline for your highest frequency that you really want to go down. And so there's all different timelines for emotions and, and, and business and like, what, what do you want to see? And you can have a timeline for all of that. For me, I want to live my highest frequency. I want to embody my ascended self. So these days, unless something has that frequency, I don't really choose it. So timeline has everything to do with your vibration that you're choosing. Now, when you get more aware and create more consciousness around this, then you have more choice around it. And I promise you that whole ghosting thing will start to change up too. So I hope this was helpful and beautiful people, please subscribe, turn that red button gray and click the bell. We'd love to have you in this high vibe tribe. And please in the comments, what do you want to hear about? What what uh, experiences are you having with your um, awakening journey and with ascending, um, embodying your ascension energy? What questions do you have? What conversations would you like to see up on this channel? Um, I'll take a look at what you, what you post and I will definitely do them. So have a beautiful, beautiful day.